right now we're doing a 10 volt 12 volt test and we're just seeing what the uh, mini gen will put out in some dyed water so we can get an actual idea of the gas production off a of mini gen sitting there without the engine running just hooked up with an outlet hose into a jug of water with a little bit of blue dye in it so we can see the bubbles a little bit better that's all we're doing this is just a dye test that's all just a dye test see if we can zoom in seems to be putting out pretty good well, at least now we know it works doesn't it no engine running just electricity going to it DC about 10 12 volts going to it into the mini gen which is right there which is kind of hard to see right now but there it is uh, that red wire that's the automatic float level sensor switch we'll walk over in the dark and you'll be able to see that that tells me that it's working and it's filled right now with uh, electrolyte so we'll just go on back over again you can see the voltmeter right there and there we go And that'll show you the output and here I'll wander through in the dark and you can see inside the truck the warning lights there we go let's see if we can see anything here there we go two lights the one on the lower left that's the power light and the one on the upper right that one there that tells me that the unit is full when that light in the upper right goes off that'll tell me that the unit is low in water and I have to push the button and have the water tank fill it up and we'll go around there right now and down there it's kinda of hard to see it but there's a water tank right there and that water tank has a water line that comes out of it and it goes over right here to the top of the unit this is for the autofill mode you can see it there I have it disconnected at the moment so I can do a gas outlet test but that'll show you where the water goes in so when the light goes out I push the button it pumps water and it fills it back up again so you don't have to take out the fill and view plug and uh, fill it up and then put it back in again so with that little tank that's sitting back there let's see if we can get over to it there it is all right that's roughly a quart and a half of fluid so I can go a thousand miles between what's in the mini gen and what's in that tank for refill I can go close to a thousand miles and not have to worry about anything anyway that's it that's what it looks like when it's on and there's a uh, dye test in water so you can see how much the mini gens putting out without the engine running without the assistance of an alternator or anything like that you can see exactly what it's putting out I hope this uh, was helpful and you learned a little bit from it got any questions just go to fuel from h2o.com we'll be glad to help you out thank you and have yourself a, a good day good night